Hey everyone, making a quick video here, making like a two minute video. Uh, I'll actually do something here, turn off the flash, I'm sure that looks a bit weird. So I'm cleaning a Nintendo Advantage. Um, don't remember if I brought this up in the video or not, actually I don't think I did, but I got this for 20 bucks on eBay. And uh, this thing here is in pretty good shape. Um, the ball on it was loose, uh, but I fixed that. Buttons are all good. Switches are all good. Um, <clears throat> he said that he took it apart and cleaned it, but you know, I don't know necessarily if he did that. I mean, it was in okay shape, but you know, so I got this for 20 bucks in free shipping. And uh, you can see there's some scuffs on here. And I'm just trying to clean some of the dirt out. I'll show you real quick what I do. So, the first thing, oops, first thing I do here, take my rubbing alcohol, the toothbrush will go wet. Obviously, you don't use a toothbrush of your own. If you're going to get into this kind of thing, I'd say get your own kind of uh, cleaning toothbrush. Strictly for cleaning, obviously. I mean, you know. So actually, I don't even know. That's a little bit wet. You know, I'm just trying to get into the cracks here. I'm trying to film and see at the same time. You know, you see there's a lot of grooves and such um, around here. Let me switch hands here. I'm better with my left hand. Yeah, you see here. Go on, that clean on that. Go through and do that. Clean up all the switches. My camera is not picking up fast movement very well, apparently. And uh, just real quick, I'm gonna work on that scuff. So, in just one second, I'll show you what we're gonna do. So, we have Mr. Clean's Magic Eraser. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tear off a chunk of this and get it wet with some rubbing al from alcohol. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that. So, hold on, let me set the phone down real quick. I can't do this with, with two hands. Okay, so you see here we got this, it's all good, it's a little bit wet, and all we're going to do is go on here. This is Queen's Magic Racer, it's very handy, it's a very good tool. Um, you can get it for probably a buck or two at Walmart, or Fred Meyers, or really anything. Whatever you have for a grocery store, you might carry this in the cleaning section, probably about two dollars. I don't know, um, but you get these full sponges like this. Uh, they work the best if you get them wet with something. So, because water's what what's active or what activates them, but they basically work as kind of like a sandpaper is what they do. Um, you see here, it's a little bit smoothed out, look a little bit better. Uh, let's see, yeah, looking through looking through the camera, I can't see as well, but looking off the camera, I thought the camera in a way looks pretty good to me. So, I think that's all good. Um, again, this little chunk here, a uh, good, good thing here, so, and I think the rest of it looks pretty fine, for the most part, anyway. So, this actually brings me to a topic here, I might be doing a series, or not a series, but I might be doing a, a longer-ish video, or maybe it's going to be cut up into a bunch of small videos, I don't know. Um, my friend has a uh, NES, like the one down there, can't see it too well, um, like that one that he wants me to... Uh, work on for him and clean up and get working and it's a it's a sentimental piece for him so I'm not gonna talk about the history of it or why it's sentimental because that's his own reasoning um you know it's up to him but um he wants me to help him get it working again and um so I'm probably gonna help him do that and I'm gonna film or have him film if he's okay with the, the disassembly the cleaning the all of that goes into the controllers the games and um in exchange for doing for doing the work, I mean it's a couple hours worth of work. And I'm willing to help out, but I think it'd be a good way to get some video topic out of it. Because it maybe one long video, or probably a couple a couple of smaller videos out of it. Probably like split up in like the console, the games, and the controllers, probably something like that. So I'm gonna see if you let me do that. I'm sure he'll be okay with filming that, and I'll probably just split it up into a couple of small videos, or maybe one large video. Yeah, there you go. Nothing really specific here, nothing really, not really tutorial, just kind of me, kind of like a vlogging thing, almost showing what I'm working on right now. 
I have another video that's going to be going up probably tomorrow, or unless this video goes up tomorrow, I don't know. But thanks for watching.